compost is dead, feed your garden these alternatives, faster and easier. You've been told composting is the heart of every healthy garden. But what if I told you that the very pile you're nurturing, turning, watering, and waiting months for, is actually wasting your time and draining your soil's potential? Compost as we know it is dead. The future of soil health lies in faster, smarter, biologically active alternatives that, you know, supercharge your garden without the endless waiting. Today, on Soil and Crop Central, we're uncovering the revolutionary methods that make traditional composting obsolete and show you how to build living soil that feeds itself. The Hidden Flaws of Traditional Compost For decades, composting has been the gold standard of organic gardening, a badge of sustainability and patience. But look closer and the cracks begin to show. Compost piles are slow, inefficient, and lose nearly half their nutrients before they even reach your garden beds. Every time you turn that pile to aerate it, you're releasing valuable nitrogen compounds into the atmosphere. Studies have shown that traditional compost can lose up to 40% of its nitrogen through volatilization and leaching long before it touches your soil. On top of that, it's a time-consuming process. You need to manage carbon to nitrogen ratios, moisture levels, and oxygen flow, turning it every week for six months to a year just to get something usable. And while you wait, your garden sits hungry, your kitchen scraps rot, and your compost bin becomes a buffet for flies, rodents, and raccoons. So is there a better way? Absolutely. And these methods don't just compete with composting. They outperform it in speed, efficiency, and long-term soil health. Vermicomposting the Living Fertilizer Factory If compost is a slow cooker, vermicomposting is a turbo blender. Using red wiggler worms, this method transforms organic waste into nutrient-dense castings in a fraction of the time. Each worm consumes its body weight in food daily, producing waste that contains up to 5 times more nitrogen, 7 times more phosphorus, and 11 times more potassium than average garden soil. What makes vermicomposting so powerful isn't just the nutrient content, it's the biology. Worm castings teem with beneficial microbes, enzymes, and natural growth hormones that stimulate root development and strengthen plant immunity. And, unlike a bulky compost pile, a worm bin can live right under your kitchen sink or in your garage, quietly working 24-7 with zero odor when properly managed. Once your worms have produced enough castings, you can apply them directly to your soil as a top dressing or turn them into a worm tea. To make worm tea, just mix one cup of worm castings into one gallon of water, add a tablespoon of unsulfured molasses, and aerate it with an aquarium pump for about 24 hours. After that, dilute the tea at a 1 to 10 ratio with water and apply it directly to your plant's roots or as a foliar spray. The results, faster growth, richer foliage, and resilient plants, speak for themselves. While worms handle solid waste, Korean Natural Farming, or KNF, brings fermentation into play for liquid, fast-acting fertilizers. This ancient technique creates powerful nutrient solutions that plants absorb almost instantly. The most popular of these is fermented plant juice, or FPJ. To make FPJ, chop one kilogram of fast-growing plants such as comfrey, nettles, or alfalfa. Mix them thoroughly with one kilogram of brown sugar until they're fully coated, then store the mixture in a loose-lidded jar at room temperature for 7 to 10 days. During this time, natural microorganisms will ferment the sugars and plant materials into a nutrient-rich liquid. Once fermentation is complete, strain the liquid and store it in a dark bottle. To use FPJ, dilute one tablespoon, which is about 15 milliliters, of the fermented liquid in one liter of water. Apply this to your plants every two weeks as a foliar spray or soil drench. The sugars feed beneficial microbes while enzymes and amino acids fuel plant metabolism directly. You'll notice visible improvement in leaf color, growth speed, and yield within days, not months. 
chop, and drop. This is nature's original composting. You know, nature doesn't rake, turn, or pile its debris. In forests, everything that falls just stays in place. Leaves, stems, and roots, all decomposing naturally into the topsoil. That's really the philosophy behind chop and drop, a method that lets your plants become their own fertilizer source. So, instead of hauling pruned material to a compost bin, you simply chop it into small pieces and leave it right on the soil surface. As it breaks down, it feeds soil organisms, locks in moisture, and even suppresses weeds. The decomposition happens directly where nutrients are needed, around your plant roots. For even greater effect, you can use dynamic accumulators like Comfrey or Barrage. These plants actually draw minerals from deep in the soil, concentrating them in their leaves. When you chop and drop those, the nutrients are released right back into the topsoil, enriching it with calcium, potassium, and magnesium. Over time, this practice transforms your garden into a closed-loop ecosystem, reducing labor while improving fertility and structure season after season. Biochar. Now, that's permanent infrastructure for soil health. Imagine a soil amendment that improves fertility, retains water, prevents nutrient loss, and, get this, lasts for centuries. That's biochar an ancient Amazonian technique that's been rediscovered by modern soil science. Biochar is made by heating organic material, like wood chips or crop residues, in a low oxygen environment, a process called pyrolysis. The result is a stable carbon structure, full of microscopic pores that host beneficial microbes and trap nutrients. You know, biochar is quite fascinating. It increases soil water retention by up to 18% while simultaneously improving drainage, an unusual but incredibly useful combination. Plus, it reduces nitrogen leaching by nearly 50%. This means your fertilizers, whether organic or synthetic, stay in the root zone where plants can easily access them. Now, if you're interested in making biochar at home, here's how you can do it. Start by filling a metal drum or cone pit with dry branches or crop residues. Burn them until they're fully blackened but not ashed. Then, extinguish the fire with water to stop the combustion. Once it's cooled, you'll need to charge your biochar as its pores initially absorb nutrients. Soak it in compost tea, worm tea, or even a mix of one part animal urine to 10 parts water for two to three weeks. When added to the soil, charged biochar becomes a living nutrient bank that continues to enhance fertility for decades. Effective Microorganisms Building a Living Workforce The concept of feeding your soil instead of just your plants is really the foundation of regenerative gardening. Effective Microorganisms, or EM, take this idea to the next level. EM solutions contain beneficial bacteria, fungi, and yeasts that work together to suppress pathogens, decompose organic matter, and release locked-up nutrients. It's quite an amazing process. You know, you can make your own EM culture quite easily. Start by rinsing a cup of uncooked rice with two cups of water and save that milky rinse water. Let it sit, loosely covered, for about two to three days until it ferments just a bit and smells sweet sour. Then, strain it and mix it with an equal amount of milk. Let it ferment again for a week. Once curds form, go ahead and separate the liquid whey. This is your basic EM culture. Store it in the refrigerator, and when you're ready to use it, mix 10 milliliters of EM per liter of water when you're applying it to soil or compost systems. This microbial inoculant will jumpstart decomposition and keep your garden soil biologically active all year round. If you already have healthy compost or worm castings, turning them into aerated compost tea can really multiply their microbial power. So, you'll want to fill a 5-gallon bucket with about 4 gallons of water, add 2 cups of compost or castings, and toss in 1 tablespoon of molasses to feed those microbes. Then, just insert an aquarium pump to keep things aerated for a full 24 hours. After brewing, dilute the tea to 1 part tea to 10 parts water, and apply it directly to the soil or even as a foliar spray. 
Compost tea colonizes plant leaves with beneficial microbes, forming a living biofilm that prevents diseases and, you know, really enhances photosynthesis. It's honestly like giving your plants an immune system upgrade. The real magic happens when you combine these methods. Start by incorporating biochar into your beds once. It's your permanent foundation. Next, set up a worm bin to recycle kitchen scraps into castings and tea. Use chop and drop throughout the season to keep organic matter right on the soil surface. Every two weeks, apply either FPJ or EM solution to feed the microbial life and alternate between them for balance. This multi-layered approach creates a living soil ecosystem that's self-fertilizing, pest-resistant, and honestly, incredibly productive. Within just one growing season, you'll notice denser root systems, faster plant growth, and, yeah, richer flavor in your harvests. Traditional composting had its time, but, you know, in a world where efficiency and sustainability matter more than ever, it's just no longer the answer. These modern alternatives, vermicomposting, fermentation, biochar, chop and drop, and microbial inoculation, they don't just replace compost. They really redefine soil health. They work with nature, not against it, harnessing biology to create soil that's alive, adaptable, and endlessly fertile. The age of waiting six months for a pile of decaying waste to mature is over. Your garden deserves methods that deliver results in weeks, not seasons. If you found this video valuable, go ahead and hit subscribe, share it with your fellow growers, and join us here at Soil and Crop Central where we turn soil into life and gardens into ecosystems. The revolution starts beneath your feet, so keep them dirty and your soil alive.